Hello there, it's your friend Phil, project management trainer and coach. Here's some quick tips on how to get PMP certified. All about the before and after your live class. So before you go for a live class, sign up for our mini boot camp course that will expose you to what is on the PMP exam at a high level. And after your live class, sign up for the PMP exam power review. Now, I got certified in 2005. I would hate for you to make the mistakes I made. It was a very tough experience. I had no support from my boss, but Mary Hirschner, my mentor, said, Phil, I think you'll be a great candidate for the PMP exam. Here's some books. Here's the PMBOK guide. Go ahead and why don't you think of doing this? But I would hate for you to go through what I did, which was, first of all, reading the wrong PMBOK guide. So don't read the wrong PMBOK guide, folks. Make sure you're reading the right edition. If you're meant to be taking the 5th edition exam, then make sure you're reading the 5th edition PMBOK guide. Don't read outdated PMBOK guides because you'll fall flat. That is like poison. And if you're watching this in the future and you're taking a PMP exam based on a future PMBOK guide, make sure you're not reading the wrong edition like I did. So here's some advice for you. The PMP exam is a professional certification exam. It's not a joke. It's very difficult for people who do not know the tricks of the trade to take in the test. It is based on the PMBOK guide and project management best practices. And that means there's stuff that is not in the PMBOK guide that you'll face. There's a lot of content in the PMBOK guide that is more fleshed out on the exam. So if you're only reading the PMBOK guide and not reading some other text, you're missing out. And that's why on our course, there is Project Management Essentials to help students close those gaps that are outside of the PMBOK guide. You need a degree and three years of experience, plus at least 4,500 hours managing projects within the past eight years. Or if you don't have a degree, you need a high school diploma and five years of experience, plus at least 7,500 hours managing projects within the past eight years. The application process alone could take you tons of time, weeks, days, or months. It is unwise to begin the process if you are not fully committed to it. So be committed. Do not waste your time if you cannot view this endeavor as similar to a college course. It's very involved. It will take you several hours to study and master the content. On average, I see students taking anywhere from 100 to 200 hours to study the content and be fully prepared for the exam. It will be unwise to take the exam without thorough preparation. $555 could go down the drain just like that. Take a mini course before your live or online training to better understand the playing field. If you look through our videos, you'll find the PMP mini video boot camp. Sign up for that. Take the course and understand at a high level what you are about to get into. At a minimum, watch my videos on YouTube about the 47 processes and PM 101, which should take you under an hour. Do not go through this without knowing what it all entails. It's very important to understand the playing field. When the PMI say project management is broken into 10 knowledge areas, 5 process groups, and 47 processes, you do need to understand that. And also, there's a sub-level of over 220 plus inputs, outputs, tools, techniques that you need to master. This is a very dense course. It has lots of heavy subject matter when you go down to the dregs. So don't go into it thinking that you can study in just a week and get certified. Even though some may have been able to do that, it's very unlikely that you will. So I would advise that you go to pmsucceed.com, sign up for a 35 contact our course. You'll be in great hands with our mentoring, training, and coaching to success. Let's talk about this whole process and let's draw out these thoughts that we've been talking about. So imagine you are a project manager trying to get certified. You first of all need to understand the PMP process. And the PMP exam process is documented in the PMP handbook. So I would say, first of all, understand the process. 
read the PMP exam handbook. It's free and you can find that online. Just Google the term PMP handbook, you'll find it. When you understand the PMP process, as I said, you want to watch those videos. Watch the videos about the PMP exam at a high level. We have those on our channel. After you have watched the videos, you may want to assess your experience and you might want to start your application. So start your application right away. You don't need to have gone for the course before you start your application. But after you've been for the course, you can complete your application. So start your application and after you've started your application, around the same time, I would recommend that you start the course. Start studying about project management in the lens of the PMI. When you are done with the course, then you can complete your application. And after you've completed your application, you send it to the PMI for approval. And after the PMI has approved your application, the next thing is to schedule the exam. But between the time you take the exam and the time you complete the application, is a piece that most people don't talk about. It's the study period. And like I said, the study period could take you up to 200 hours. It could take you anywhere from 100 to 200 hours from what I've seen. So this is a very involved course. It's a very involved process all around. Don't look at this as something that you can do in the blink of an eye. No, it's not. It's something that you need to be intentional and deliberate about. And you need to keep on staying on the horse to get certified. I would highly recommend visiting www.pmsuccee.com. I know I'm in broken record mode, but I would hate for you to make the mistakes I've made and the mistakes other students have made. For example, we got a call today from a student who took the exam on Sunday by going through a course at a local chapter and unfortunately failed the exam and has no support whatsoever. That is not good enough. In our course, we handhold, we guide, we train, we mentor, and we ensure that you succeed. So if you are struggling on your own, trying to get certified, you're finding difficulty, you don't understand what you've been taught in your live class or your online class, don't waste another minute. Visit pmsuccee.com and sign up today. It could save you thousands of dollars like it has many other students. There was a student who went for a well-known live training course at a reputable company about four years ago, and this student ended up failing the exam. It was at that point the student cried out for help on LinkedIn, and I became aware of this student's cry and decided to help the student get through the treacherous terrain. The student signed up for a course, and right now this person is PMP certified and has been successful in striking project management business deals in several firms as a result of getting certified. So don't give up, folks. You can absolutely do it, but it's all about having the right guidance, the right mentoring, the right training, and that's why I would highly recommend pmsuccee.com. Thank you for your audience, and I wish you all the best. If you already have help, keep on engaging your trainer, your instructor, your coach, because it goes a long way in guiding you to the finish line.